I like to work with the issues uh, that people don't like. Sou a Catarina Albuquerque. Recebi o prémio uh, IWA Global Water Award e fui a primeira relatora especial das Nações Unidas sobre os direitos humanos à água e ao saneamento. The human right to water and sanitation means that everybody on earth has the right and should be enjoying safe water that doesn't kill or make him, herself or the, their children sick and have access to uh, sanitation in conditions of dignity. Nobody should be excluded, everybody should be on board. Nobody should be left behind, everybody must have access. Without water professionals, we cannot realize the human rights to water and sanitation. I think this is also one of the reasons why I realized when I was appointed as special rapporteur that I couldn't just limit myself to preach to the converted, to people working in the area of human rights. I had to reach out to people who would not necessarily agree with me. My surprise was that they agreed with me, that they wanted more and they were, they, they were aware of the fact that water has to be of quality uh, in order for the human right to be realized. Water has to be accessible, it has to be inside the household or in the vicinity. And the same to, uh, with sanitation. It is crucial that uh, uh, water and sanitation professionals embrace the human right. And I think that IWA embraced human rights uh, in different occasions by giving me the award, of course, by publishing uh, the manual on you, the human right to water and sanitation. Uh, I think it's fundamental that you continue and the professionals continue embracing it because it, it challenges the way you do your business. It, it makes you ask difficult questions for which we don't always have uh, the answers immediately. So if I have a coverage rate of 95 or 98 percent when it comes to water, for example, in a given country, we have to ask ourselves, even in those countries, who are the two percent that we are left leaving out? And I think it's the professionals who should ask these questions and who should find the solutions for these problems in order Otherwise, we will never manage to make the vision of the Sustainable Development Goals a reality by 2030. Sanitation and water for all, it will be impossible. I think the Sustainable Development Goals have a, a, a new vision for the world where nobody is left behind. And I think this is fundamental to say, and when you look at the Sustainable Development Goals, and when you look more concretely at Goal 6, the one related to water and sanitation, you will see that it is the only goal for which you have the human right explicitly referred to in the declaration. And I think that from our point of view, people working in the area of water and sanitation, we made an, an interesting exercise to look of how other goals are connected to goal six. Every other goal is connected to goal six. And goal six, water and sanitation, is fundamental to making sure that you reach gender equality, that you eliminate other inequalities, that you reach energy for all, health for all, that you reach um, nutrition for all. So it's fundamental to bring people around goal six because it will have uh, an important knock-on effect on other goals. And this is the message that we try con to convey at SWA when we bring not only the sector ministers but also the finance ministers around the table. They have to understand and they are understanding that this is a good and an indispensable investment. Water professionals should first be aware that there is a human right to water and sanitation. And being aware that there is a, a, what, a human right to water and sanitation, we lead, uh, lead them inevitably to asking the difficult questions. How am I making sure that everybody gets access? Who am I leaving behind? Is this, uh, are these poor people, people belonging to ethnic minorities, people from a different country, migrants, irregular migrants, refugees? Uh, who am I leaving out? And why am I leaving them out? What are the reasons why they are being left out? And what can I do to bring them on board and make sure that the vision of the Sustainable Development Goals of water and sanitation for all 
can become a reality. For me, and this is what I try to do, uh, is to leave your comfort zone. Leave your comfort zone and ask yourself the difficult questions. Why are we failing? Why don't we have 100% coverage? Uh, why aren't people paying their bills? Why are we leaving some people behind? Uh, and asking yourself these difficult questions for which you don't have necessarily to have the answers right now will lead you to think through and analyze critically the work that you are doing and obviously improving it.